Well, this video is about architectural photography. I'm going to take you from start to finish, how I shoot the image and how I process it in Lightroom and Photoshop. Let's get started. Well, I didn't want to go too far this morning, so I drove to Stamford, Connecticut. It's only about a half hour from my house. And I came to shoot a uh, building called Landmark Square. Uh, I think it's a phenomenal looking building. It's very unique. It's got great lines and angles. And uh, I'm just setting up and trying to get some good shots. Well, it's still just before sunrise. The light is still kind of soft on the building, which I like. As the sun rises, it will become more harsh and we'll get some, uh, you know, some highlights and shadows on the building. It might look interesting as well. I'll just keep shooting. I'm doing some longer exposures now. So I put on my 10 stop neutral density filter so I can slow down the shutter speed trying to capture some of this cloud movement. I'm not getting a ton of clouds in the sky. I got some high, wispy clouds. I think I'll get something. Well, I took my camera off my tripod. I got my longer lens on, and what I'm trying to do now is just to get some details of the architecture, getting in a little closer. Uh, sun's starting to rise, getting some good light on the building, so uh, I think I'll get some good shots by doing this. Cloud's moving in, I think it's going to be even better for a long exposure. So I got my camera back up on my tripod, changed lenses again, got my neutral density filter on, and I'm, uh, I'm taking some shots. About one minute exposure right now at, uh, at F13 and ISO 100. got some really nice cloud movement now and so uh, I think they're gonna come out pretty good once I get them on the computer and play with them a bit. Well I got some good shots I think so what I want to do now is show you how I am editing these photos. Let's jump into my computer uh, Lightroom and Photoshop and we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, made it home. I uh, took a lot of shots. This was the one I chose to process. Uh, I'm in Photoshop now. I've done a little bit of work in Lightroom. I converted to black and white in Lightroom. I lowered the luminosity of some of the blues, did a little cropping. Uh, now I'm in Photoshop and I've already done two things. Uh, first, I got rid of some sensor spots that were on the shot. Uh, more importantly, I made a bunch of selections, the sky, different parts of the building, and that will allow me to go through and change uh, different parts of the image to create the kind of uh, vision that I, that I felt that I wanted to achieve with this shot. What I want to do is take this shot, again, not much editing done yet, and create this shot, which I find to be far more dramatic and interesting. Uh, let me hide that. And I'll start the process. I may not work through everything because otherwise it might take a bit too long, but I'll show you the process that I go through. You'll get a sense of how I mm -hmm. achieve that. Uh, first thing I want to do is work with the sky. And so I've, again, made the selection of the sky already. I'll choose it. Uh, I'm going to be using curve adjustment layers basically throughout this whole 
uh, process. And so with the sky, I definitely want to darken it quite a bit, uh, but not the entire image. Some of the highlights, I want to make sure they don't get too dark, so you get this wonderful contrast in the sky. So very quickly, it becomes pretty apparent. Here's the before, here's the after. Uh, let's start working on the building then. Uh, a couple things here. I want to highlight certain aspects of the building, curves. I also want to keep in mind that the sun is coming from the left. And so those two things kind of dictate how I approach this. And so I want to first select the far left white column. I'm going to brighten that up. Again, the sun is coming from that side. So I'm going to choose a curves adjustment layer. I'm going to brighten it up. But one thing I want to do is create some dimension here. Uh, and I want, also want the viewer's eyes to look up. And typically, as the image gets brighter, your eye gets attracted to that part of the image. So uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to reselect that, that selection. Using a gradient tool, I am going to drag down so the top half is brighter than the bottom half. And I'll do this with other parts of the image as well. Uh, in fact, to enhance that a little bit more, I'm going to darken the bottom half. So same selection, pull it down. I'm going to reselect gradient tool and drag up. And so again, here's the before, here's the after. I should say here's the before, both of the layers, and here's the after. Let's move on to, let's see, let's go with this arched part of the building on the left side. Uh, I want to make that brighter and I want to enhance the curvature of it as well. And so I'm going to start with the curves adjustment layer, drag up to brighten it up. I will reselect. I got my gradient tool already selected. I'm going to use that again. Pulling over from the left, you get that good sense of curvature. In fact, once again, what I'll do, I have it selected already. I'm going to darken the right side of this arch. So first I darken the whole thing, reselect it. I got my gradient tool. If I drag to the left, uh, it should do it. So here's the before, kind of flat. Here's the after. Get a better sense of the curvature. Let's now go to this lower left window. And very similarly, I want to create sort of the same effect. So if I pull up, brighten up the entire selection, reselect it, gradient tool from the left, I get that nice contrast. Um, and then I want to do the same thing, darken the right side of this selection. I'm going to pull down and I'll reselect it, gradient tool, drag to the right to the left, excuse me, from the right. Um, and so for this selection, here's the before and here's the after. Let me do one more selection uh, just to show you uh, an, kind of another technique. And that is this curved part of the roof on the lower part of the image, which again, I've already selected. Um, I'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing. And I'll drag down. So I've selected this area. And I want to enhance the curved effect of this, of this part of the building. And so I'm going to start with the curve adjustment layer. I'm going to drag up. It's brightening the entire selection. Doesn't look particularly good. Um, I'll reselect it. Instead of using the linear gradient tool, I'm going to use the reflected gradient tool. And it's starting roughly in the middle, I'm going to drag down. And there you get a good sense of the curvature of that part of the building. Um, I did more things to the left side as well, but I don't want to drag on too much. You get a sense of, uh, of what I've been able to achieve. And again, at the end of the day, I started with this, and I ended with this. Uh, listen, if you have questions on Photoshop, just put them right down below. If you enjoy the video, please do subscribe. There's a subscribe button on the lower right corner of the screen. 
And until the next video, take care.